Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Dragon Force, and hey! Actual progression! It's a miracle! Now the only problem is, where's Goldark? I kinda need Goldark. I don't have Goldark. So, I'm gonna send people to the shrines where they can be. I think Goldark will meet up with us at the shrine he's supposed to, which is the Northern Shrine. Again, I really don't know how you're supposed to determine who goes where, other than the three that go to the Southern Shrine that you know, make complete sense. Three of them, you know, basically are color-coordinated, red, blue, and green. The the Eastern Trine, again, you've got June and Mikhail and Leon that, like, who's what? Because, I mean, again, None of them have power or any sort of ability or uh, indicator of, of what sends them there. And then you've got heaven and light. No one would think that Goldark was either of those. And I, I really think he's he's the one of, of light, because I don't see him having the power of heaven. Actually, he might, because if you if you look at it from a special ability standpoint for them... Well... No, because Wynn doesn't have any light-based powers. It's all conf It's confusing. If anyone has any idea of how that's... Like, what... Because I would imagine that it's either the original translation, or that this is a, a butchering of the translation, or something that Working Designs did to, to not make it make as much sense. So, uh, if you have an idea, let me know. And, because uh, I'm, I'm very curious about that. I, I don't know how that that fits. I It, it confuses me. Alright, so the... Also, uh, we haven't gotten the, the cutscene yet. We might when we get back to the main uh, world map. The Earthquake, I believe, uh, unleashed a bunch of dragon men from the mountain. Though that might happen after the, uh, after we hit the shrines. But dragon men are going to be our new problem, and they are going to be much more numerous than skull children. Whereas we were dealing with skull children in just the, the pain and agony except for the first group, which is the, the the old guy, in addition to other people. Uh, dragon men are going to be everywhere, and they can attack in groups of two to three, and multiple armies can be on the world map at once. And, oh hey, another Gaia sword. That's actually really good. I'll have to give that to someone who's going to be on the front lines dealing with these things. For now, I think I'll give it to Wen. Because I was just going to give it to... Or I was just going to give the one Junin has to Wen because she's going to be getting the, the Star Dragon Sword. So... Because once... Whoever your monarch is, you give them the best weapon that they have access to. So they... The Star Dragon Sword is, I think, one of the only swords that can be used by all sword users, as opposed... Because uh, Mikhail's kind of different, you know, using katanas. But he can use the Star Dragon Sword. And then you've got the, the bracelet and the ring. Or bracelet and staff. Which, again, can be used by different people. I think the bracelet can be used by Gongos. I have to see who who all can use what. But then once you equip your chosen uh, monarch with the weapon that they have access to, their level 3 ability changes to something uh, Star Dragon related. So we will lose Sonic Blast uh, in favor of Dragon Blast, in which instead of shooting out five uh, Sonic Booms, we will just send out a dragon that will cut across the battlefield. I think it still has the same attack radius, so it will still, you know, kind of skip sections. But, um, yeah. 
that's that's something we can we can do. All right. So from now on, Junin no longer has her her helmet. So that's fantastic, and she's gonna have the highest highest of everything. Screw that. All right. I can't use Dragon Statue because she's at max. And I'm just gonna, again, just go down the list and make sure people have items, because I've got several more uh, rods, <laughs> giggity, for uh, my casters that I haven't been using. So, that's a thing. I only have one samurai crest. Oh, hey. And various charms. I forgot about that. And yeah, we're just gonna giving everyone something. Oh, I need to give Wen. Plus, I could have given him something better than a psycho sword. He's using kind of crap at the moment. Gaia sword to 80, 80. Wen's strength is eighty-seven. Junin's is like one hundred and twenty. <laughs> That's. That's ridiculous. Okay. All right. So we are down here with our people. Kilrin. I've got axes and claws and. Uh, let's see. You can get that. Uh. Oh. And, yeah, Leon's in the freaking hospital because he stopped in and, you know, prevented, uh, Junin from going all batshit. What the hell? So disappointed in that. Alright, I also gotta give... Oh, man! Congratulations, you will get that. Uh... You get a ring. Oh, I can bring, uh... I can bring Leon back. Because I've got Osteo Herbs. I'm gonna do that. So I don't have to freaking wait for him. Glad that was a thing. Alright, you... I've had some swords. But you're a ninja, you can't use any of those swords. Okay. Nina, I don't think I've got anything else that Nina can use. Nope. And basically now it's just finding anyone who I don't have any. Okay, I think that's it. I because I've given out everything that I can. Yep. Uh, wait, I've got some claws. Maybe. You can use a claw. And who's the next beastman? Can you use a claw? You can use a claw. Congratulations. There we go. Alright, we'll save, and then we'll go back out to the world map. And we'll start taking on uh, shrines. I have... I've got one group, so we'll go ahead and take on the south shrine. Because they're they should be right there. At Bozak Castle, right where I was heading to. Alright, so Terrace, Reinhardt, Gongos. Only those three. If you send other people, nothing will happen. And then Uh, send when? Because he's the only one I got. Actually, I'll, I'll wait, because I don't know if I can actually do any... If I've got to wait for Goldark. We'll see. If I can get... If I get the others to the other shrines fast, then I'll go ahead and send Wen up there to deal with it. So, we'll... We'll, we'll see what happens. Alright, so our first group is approaching the Forest Shrine in the south. Stone Monument. 
dialect is very old. One day the eight children shall come forth. Of the eight, only three may pass these walls. One with the command of water, one with ferocity of fire, and one who guards the forest of Legendra. This must be the monument of which... Yeah. There's something ahead. So how is Scythe able to come in if... If only those three people can enter the shrine, how the hell did Scythe, along with Dragon Men, show up? Alright, Terrace will, has to be my bride, I'll protect her. Uh, I can give your head to Terrace as a wedding gift. It's not really uh, a wedding if the groom's dead. I, I think they get the point of your story. And I love how Reinhardt said, shut, shut up. Alright, so... Shut up, all of you, just fight. Okay, there we go. It finally took them long enough to actually, you know, fight. You shall burn in hell with Terrace. Alright, so, and Scythe has zombies, which have a negative 25% uh, percent terrain effect here in uh, in the shrine. Alright, so who do we have that we are fighting against? We have two dragon men, seven MP apiece. They've got the standard dragon men abilities of flame cannon, stone pedestal, skydiver. And then we've got Scythe with 55 MP, 80 zombies. Level 21, she has all of the things that basically make her suck. Basically, Ensnare and Summon Golem. And so, who do we have? We've got Terrace, Reinhardt, and Gongos. All level... pretty much everyone's level 15. So, I don't want to send someone who has a high MP against Scythe. Because chances are I'll only get one hit off. So we will send Reinhardt and Terrace against the Dragon Men and Gongos against Scythe. I'm hoping his strength will uh will do him better than the uh the reliance on MP damage. Alright, so fifty dragons and already losing frames. Uh, let's do offense and standby. Alright, so. Red dragons versus green. Uh, let's. Let's do Thunderfall. Summon Guardian will do nothing because it's the same as Quagmire and Stone Pedestal. So, we don't want to do that. And we just want to watch his troops run into ours and then die a painful death, and that's gonna do nothing. I've lost five troops, he's lost almost 40. I've lost oh, 12 troops, he's lost all of his. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the last ones to die, and Thunderfall the dragon. And zappity. That actually killed a lot of frames. I'm still eating a lot of frames. Alright, so... He's, uh, he's gonna go down kinda slowly, because I'm pretty sure Reinhardt's command skill sucks. So... Thunderfall... There we go, more lightning to the face. It happens. You know. And he's gonna die, so I'm not too worried. Which means I could throw Reinhardt out against someone else, because I'll have close to the same number of troops. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I've got I should have more than enough people to handle all three of them. If not, I've... Reinhardt can deal against Scythe. 
or deal against whoever's left standing, which will probably be Scythe. Alright, so one dragon down, one to go. Let's send Terrace. 100 dragons versus 50 dragons. I shall spread your gray matter across the battlefield. And he's going with a unique strategy, and I'm, again, dropping frames. I hate that. So that means I don't need to do offense. I can just do special. And again, I'm just losing frames for no discernible reason. I hate that! Oh well, I'm almost done with this project, so that's... Alright, so... Do summon Wyvern. We'll do some damage to him and his troops. Hey, look! I'm killing all of your troops. That was... That was fun! And... His troops are actually cutting into mine. I think my command skill's not nearly high enough. He's done a fair bit more damage to me than, uh... the other troops did to, uh... Reinhardt. Alright, summon Wyvern. This is gonna kill a couple of my troops because of how they're moving. That sucks, but oh well. Yeah, some of my troops are gonna die, but it's for the greater good. To do damage. Alright. There we go. We're good. We're doing good. He's out of MP, so he can't hurt Terrace directly. So I have two people with some troops left. So yeah, this is this is pretty much one. Like there's 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 no way. So I'm I'm just biding time now. A slightly longer episode because the fight with uh Scythe will take a few. A little bit longer than a typical fight, and then there'll be dialogue afterwards when we get the item. Alright. Two down, last one to go. Gongos, defend your woman's honor! Actually, not really your woman. Because, uh... I believe, like I said, I believe uh, the canon story is she ends up marrying Wynn. So, and more frame... Oh, no frame droppage! That's... That's unique. Alright, offense. Stand by. I need to get a hit in on Scythe. That's all I need to do. And... Uh, son of a bitch! I'm getting so... Tired. Alright, I'll do cross rush. I'll take out a couple of troops, too. And again, all of my frames go away. I've lost so many frames on this. This is just... This is pathetic. And... She does not have Resurrect, thankfully. So... And for some other reason, she didn't use Ensnare. So I'll do cross flash. Do a little bit extra damage to her. I was hoping Gongos would do a little bit more damage, but you know, things happen. All right, so I shall crush you with a force you cannot imagine. This is going to hurt like a bitch. Oh, it didn't do nearly as much damage as I was expecting. But she can do it a lot more, so... Hopefully my my guys will kill her before it becomes too much of a threat. Alright, come on guys. Kill the demon. Dragons versus demons, that's how this goes. We're, we're good on this. No, no, you're letting her get too many hits in. Stop letting her do that. 
by, you know, clawing her face. Claw her face off. She doesn't need one. She's not attractive. She's kind of creepy. So, yeah, claw the face off. And there we go. How could you be so very careless? It's because you suck. You suck so bad. Uh, yeah. Congo, so it appears that you've been ignored again. That's the secret of health. Forget about all the bad. Okay, so, yes, we beat Scythe. One shrine down, two to go. Let's enter the shrine. Bracelet of the sun, it's shiny and smooth. Terrace's level increased. Reinhardt's level, everyone leveled up. Alright, let's go back. I'm gonna say let's go back to Bastok. That tells you how much I've been playing Final Fantasy XI. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next installment where I will take on another shrine. So till then, later everyone.